You're watching Southern California's CBS 2 News with Ann Martin, Michael Tuck, Steve Rambo with weather, and Jim Hill on sports. CBS 2 News. More balance. More special assignments. More to come. And now, a closer look at an Oscar-nominated actress who showed her courage before the cameras today, not for a movie role, but for a 10-year-long, real-life, painful struggle that's finally over. Sally Kirkland told the world she had her breast implants removed. Sally Kirkland loved the cameras. She posed willingly in slinky gowns, showing off the curves that were part of her sexy image. Curves she bought first with breast implants 10 years ago and then with bigger ones a few years later. You're gonna be bandaged like just from here to here. And but complications and years of pain brought her to Century City Hospital yesterday to have her implants removed. That's a long time to be struggling with yourself, whether or not to do what I'm doing now. She says she got the implants to look like Marilyn Monroe. She took them out to live pain-free. Dr. Randall Hayworth first removed the implants, then the scar tissue, and then reconstructed her deformed breasts. I'm going to get you down the recovery room. We'll give you some pain medication. The scar tissue that sort of enveloped the left breast implant was the densest I've ever seen. It took us about two hours alone just to get that away from the surrounding tissue. And today, the 53-year-old actress bravely faced cameras without her trademark dresses and her long blonde hair to tell about the lie she was living. It's been difficult for me to feel the joint and the muscle pain and to tell my friends, I know you think of me as a very social person. You see me at the Oscars and the Golden Globes, but you're not going to see me out every night because, um, because I got to do this fight or flight thing called in order to stay in front of the camera as an actress, I got to go stay in bed the rest of the time. And that's what it's been like since 89. She and her doctor admitted most women who have breast implants don't have the complications she had, complications that were crippling. I'm feeling very relieved that you all care about this because I would want women to know that there is concern with this controversial thing called silicone implants and the silicone casing that surrounds saline implants. I feel great because I feel like I've been in denial for many years at speaking out what I know to be true. And I feel exonerated because a lot of people came up to me in the early years and they said, I want to look the way you look. And I didn't have the heart to tell them, no, you don't want to look the way I look because it hurts. And, uh, and so finally I'm, I'm getting out of denial today and I'm trying to say what is true for me, which is that it hurts. It's very crippling, this thing. She is courageous. Sally's doctor says her prognosis is very good, and she plans to use the video of her surgery as part of a documentary to inform and to warn women about the dangers of breast implants. That was not easy for her to come out and say that. You have to respect her for doing Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Coming. From NBC4, the station working for you. Kent Shockman, Kathy Vara, Christopher Nance AccuWeather, and Paul Johnson Metro Traffic. This is Today in L.A. Movie actress Sally Kirkland speaking out about what she calls her poison implants. Just two days ago, Kirkland underwent surgery to have her breast implants removed. And this morning, David Cruz has her story. Millions have known multi-award winning actress Sally Kirkland for her work on screen portraying the lives of others. But what her fans didn't know was the story of her own pain and suffering after breast implants led to years of illness, disease, and doctors feared might even cost her her life. One day after undergoing her sixth, and she hopes, her last operation to remove leaking implants and undergo reconstructive breast surgery, Sally Kirkland, actress, chose to speak out as Sally Kirkland, a woman and survivor. I feel exonerated because a lot of people came up to me in the early years and they said, I want to look the way you look. And I didn't have the heart to tell him, no, you don't want to look the way I look because it hurts. Her surgeon explained that the Oscar-nominated actress had suffered from the complications seen by about 5% of women whose bodies react differently to breast implants. They have their scar contracture contract down very, very vigorously, and it produces pain and distortion. Kirkland says she does not want to indict the community of plastic surgeons because of her own suffering but she encourages women now to become more informed and, uh, about breast implants. If I was a mom of a young kid, I would say, check it out, check it out, seriously, check it out. This is David Cruz reporting for Today in L.A.